the long term, um, everywhere that human ingenuity has been useful so far, I think we expect that artificial ingenuity might be able to help. And so I expect it to sort of touch every aspect of life, perhaps. At the moment, I think it's much more limited. Um, and perhaps we see it in places like advertising or like different things that Google does. Um, and it's uh, not clear to everyone exactly where it is. But yeah, um, I think most of the uh, most of the impacts we're yet to see by far. Uh, I guess self-driving cars is going to be a soon one that will make a big difference, I think. Sustainable development involves a lot of difficult problems like uh, building new technologies, um, like for instance things to do with uh, greenhouse emission reduction, that sort of thing, um, but also uh, things that are harder to specify like cooperation between different people. Um, and all of these I think are usually things that human brains work on and uh, I think the hope is to be able to do much better with artificial brains. Uh, though perhaps the technology one is like a, a narrower, better defined thing that we might be able to work on sooner and things like uh, artificial diplomacy to have better cooperation. A thing that's maybe faster than legislating is um, like supporting the research into safety and I think there's like good technical research into safety um, that people can work on these days. Um, as I'm most familiar with work on uh, the what's called the alignment problem, which is sort of like avoiding unintended consequences of systems that um, don't understand all of human values. So you ask them to do one thing and they can find a clever way of doing that thing that you might not have foreseen, which is actually not what you wanted at all. Um, like I guess an example that I've heard is sort of if you uh, have companies and they have artificial intelligence that is helping them to make more money, a really clever artificial intelligence might find ways to make more money that the humans wouldn't approve of if they had thought of them, but uh, you don't really want to just be noticing these things as they happen. So this is the technical problem of causing the AI to actually have the values that we want it to have at the start. So I think um, funding that sort of thing and supporting it is uh, important. There are lots of different sorts of science that could be uh, promoted by artificial intelligence, and I think it probably matters which order they happen in. Um, you know, if uh, like if more dangerous technologies happen before ones that are better for coordinating in some way or like avoiding the dangers, like like spotting dangers, um, that's worse. And so I think uh, governments. Uh, often do work in deciding which things to fund and funding some things over others and I think that's probably important in uh, preparing for science to be sped up in this way. So I guess uh, it really matters what is causing the discrepancy to begin with and I'm quite uncertain about that but uh, I think one thing that contributes to it is um, like women more often being uh, in charge of families or something like that, like I guess as a, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure why that ends up being the case, but it often is. And I think uh, as things become more flexible, that might naturally make it easier, like where, you know, if more technologies mean that you can like work from home or you can work in like smaller bouts without having to like fly to the place where you're going to do the thing or something, um, I think that should somewhat help. Um, I, uh, I, guess I, I went to a conference recently that um, had quite a lot of women and also, uh, I guess, had um, much more collaborative norms of discussion or something, and I don't know which way the causality was going there or if it was random, but uh, that was interesting. Mm -hmm.